So Michael Cohen, just before he went off to prison, told us all that he helped bury some, quote, racy pictures of Jerry Falwell Jr. Be sure you have your safe search turned on before you Google Jerry Falwell Jr. and pool boy. It could uh, have a negative effect on your mental health if you don't. Check it out. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. And please subscribe to our channel. Months before evangelical leader Jerry Falwell Jr.'s game-changing potential endorsement of Donald Trump in 2016, Falwell asked Trump fixer Michael Cohen for a personal favor. Now, stop for a second in the Wayback Machine. This, you know, this goes back to Donald Trump and his corrupt relationship with other corrupt oligarchs. In this case, the oligarch is Jerry Falwell Jr., who's the heir to a multi-million, perhaps multi-hundred million dollar fortune from his father, one of the most corrupt uh, so-called Christians in, in, in my lifetime, Jerry Falwell, who said that 9-11 was caused by gay people. Remember that? And Pat Robertson was like, yep, sure enough, that's it. Um, and they said this the day after 9-11, right? Gay people caused 9-11. This was God's wrath. Well, uh, this is from the Miami New Times by Jerry Ianelli uh, back in December of last year. It's pretty darn curious that Jerry Falwell Jr. recently admitted in court that he paid $1.8 million to a pool boy at Miami Beach's Fontainebleau Resort who had befriended the Falwell family. And you see a picture of this guy. He's like... Adonis, right? He's a very good-looking young man with a big square jaw and, you know, kind of rock Hudson look. Falwell Jr. and his wife appeared to have simply befriended, in quotes, the then 21-year-old pool attendant. Keep in mind Falwell and his wife in their 40s or 50s, whatever they are, while the husband and wife were staying at the ritzy Fontainebleau. They then welcomed the pool attendant into their lives, flying him around on a private jet, and even put up millions of dollars to help his business ventures. The guy's name is Giancarlo Granda. And in this court filing, Jerry Falwell, uh, Granda is suing him. He wants more money from Falwell, right? He, and Falwell says, my wife and I provided a loan of $1 million for Alton, Hostel, Alton Hostel's purchase of the Alton property. Later, my wife and I provided additional funds of approximately $800,000 for renovation. Now, what was the $1.18 million that Falwell gave the pool boy that he met at the Fontainebleau to buy? Well, according to Politico, it was, quote, a flop house that is, quote, gay friendly, end quote. So I leave that, you know, without comment. Obviously, I, I have no problem with gay people, but I do have a problem with hypocrites. So now, step, you know, six months forward, well, actually, it was around that same time, actually. It was during the campaign. Months before evangelical leader Jerry Falwell Jr.'s game-changing presidential endorsement of Donald Trump in 2016, he literally, I mean, Ted Cruz announced his candidacy for president at Liberty University, but Jerry Falwell went with Donald Trump instead. Why? Because a couple months before the endorsement, Michael Cohen helped get some, quote, racy personal photographs buried. Cohen told Arnold, I have a, I actually have one of the photos. It's terrible. Cohen helped persuade Falwell to issue his endorsement of Trump's presidential candidacy at a critical moment just before the Iowa caucuses. Falwell subsequently barnstormed with Trump and vouched for the candidate's Christian virtues. Very interesting. What the hell's going on with this? It's just, it just gets weirder and weirder in Trump world. It's like, it's like grifter paradise.